when the temperature drops, it can play havoc with our skin. So I wanted to share with you a couple of my favorite tips for just keeping your, your skin super soft, supple, and really comfortable through the winter months when the temperature drops. Now it doesn't have to be fiddly, it doesn't have to be complicated. These are really, really super simple things that you can do to help keep your skin comfortable in through these cold months. I'm Olga, founder of The Rose Tree, and I founded The Rose Tree four years ago to be the antithesis of the mass market, cheap ingredient, compromised offerings on sale. Everything I do at The Rose Tree is about less stress, more simplicity, simple, easy products that work. I don't do mass market. All of my products are made here by hand in England. I'm all about quality and selecting the best ingredients. When the temperature drops, it's all about hydration levels. Generally, skin pulls moisture out of the air, which becomes a problem when temperatures drop because humidity in the air reduces. Um, and to make things worse, as our skin gets older, the natural oil producing capabilities um, slow down, making it more difficult for dry skin cells to slough off, uh, resulting in dry, flaky skin. So my first tip to prevent a rather unattractive skin snowstorm effect, invest in um, a gentle exfoliation treatment, which will boost hydration levels with natural oils. I like my own honey and rose exfoliating scrub um, with honey and shea butter. But if you're at home and you want something cheap and cheerful, you can use a natural oil with, um, with, with sugar or with salt, and you can use that to gently um, hydrate your skin. A stress gentle, you're not, you want to avoid scrubbing your skin hard, especially when it's colder when it's drier because raw skin is not going to help. My second tip is to go easy on the steaming hot water. So this is one instance where a really hot steaming bath is not going to help your skin cut back on super super hot baths and showers um, and I'm my own worst enemy here I love a really warm beautifully scented bath but spending too much time wallowing in steaming hot water tempting though it might be when you're really really cold is further going to strip the oils from your skin which you want to try and avoid. Now if you can't live without a bath, and I do understand that, um, get clever with oil and water. I recommend a bath oil because that's going to hydrate and soothe your skin all at the same time. And if it has um, a beautiful aromatherapy blend, you're going to end up smelling fabulous as well. Uh, this is one of my oils. It is my de-stress bath and shower oil. And I use a blend of calendula um, and thistle and apricot oils, which are really gentle. Um, and calendula in particular is really, really good for skin when it dries out. Um, so if your skin is getting a little bit itchy, if it's getting a little bit uncomfortable, if it's feeling dry. The other really important thing when the temperature drops is to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Seriously, you want a moisturizer that packs a punch. Now, I'm a big fan of oils because I find that they are easier to use and they're very, very quick to use. And you're gonna get more of a hydration boost than faffing around with a jar of cream after you step out of the bath or the shower. Um, and my best tip for you when applying a body oil is simply to apply some from a pump in your hand and apply it to wet skin. 
And by doing that, you're sealing in some of the moisture on your skin, which is going to help retain that and make your skin feel a little bit more hydrated, um, pack in a little bit more hydration and keep you feeling comfortable for longer as the as it gets as the temperatures drop um, and you and you kind of avoid that sort of tight sore feeling. And my final tip is really to give you some ingredients to look out for that are really good for skin that's dry or for, for normal skin that's suffering within, um, within, the cold, within cold temperatures. So the first thing is, uh, no surprises here, I'm a huge fan of natural plant butters. So shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, they're all going to work really, really well. The other thing is to look for humectants. Ingredients like honey um, and glycerin, um, which I use within my exfoliation treatment, mean that they attract moisture and draw it into the skin. And that's going to help keep your skin comfortable when the temperature drops. Finally, I want you to think about um, the right plant oils for skin that is um, suffering in the cold. Now that might sound a little bit odd because surely the lo logic would dictate that all oils are going to be great but some are better than others and that just depends on their makeup. So in particular oils which are rich in oleic acid are going to work best um, as these have a richer feel and they're going to in turn moisturise more deeply. So as an example, look out for safflower or thistle oil, um, avocado oil, argan oil, um, camellia um, is very good, also hazelnut oil. And I've got plenty of other resources on the website, website about the best plant oils by skin type if you want to know more about that. I really, really hope that those tips are useful. Everything I do at the Rose Tree is about less stress, more simplicity, simple, easy products that work. Um, and I'm really, the most important thing for me is it's about the quality and the ingredients. So I hope I've inspired you to try some of our products um, when your skin at this time of year really needs a little bit of extra help um, and also to think about the ingredients that you're using on your skin and what's going to work best for you. Until the next time.